Today we're talking about the Telesis Ethernet IP module and what I've got here is it's a picture of the module which includes a power supply and then a DB9, that's a DB9 adapter. If you don't have a DB9 adapter or a serial port then you have to have an RS-232 to USB and that's what this guy is. I would highly recommend getting Telesis's version, that way you've got everything here. So whether you plug in the back of the computer or plug in the back of the controller, um, on one side we're talking Ethernet IP and on the other side we are talking messages. So how does it work? What I've got here is a picture of the, uh, the mapping um, of the signals and some digital I.O. here. And then we also have the Alan Bradley RS links or whatever the, uh, you know, the module here kind of laid out. So you've got digital I.O., pretty straightforward, on, off, on, off, gets ready immediately. When we talk about messages, when we have a message, we have a message ID. It's really a trigger, which means when this register 3 changes, it signifies new data. We've got a message type, and the types of data that we can send are patterns or variables or overwriting lines or a go command, that type of thing. And then we have the message data. So in here you can see you've got your three, your four, your five, and then you have six, seven, eight. So if my message string is 10 digits, I would use five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to 15. Let's talk about the message types. So here we've got the message types. So for example, the most typically, most commonly used message types are the message type one, which will overwrite a line of data, or you can pull a line of data. You can have one question mark and it will tell you what's in line one, or you can do um, a one command and then update data to a specific line. The G command is a go command, the P command is to load a pattern, and the V command is to update a variable. Overwriting the line and updating the variable are about the same thing. Um, we're going to talk about the one command real quick. So the one command, the message type is here, and that's going to go in position four. Um, then you're going to put in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way out. You're going to put O1, A, B, C, one, two, three. So for this case, you're saying, hey, I'm going to do a one, which is a message type one, overwrite a line. And I'm going to write over line 01 with A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. And if you can see up here in the messages, what we have here is actually ASCII. So 49, 48, 50, 80. I'm going to go down here and kind of show the ASCII table. So 49 is a 1. So that means a message type 1. Then you have a 48 and a 49. So it's message type 1, 0, 1. So in this case, in, in number five, you get 48, 49, that's zero, one, and then you have some letters here. So you're updating here this piece with a one, o, one, and then the data. So this is really how this works. So you put a one in the message type, you type in, you know, zero would be in five, one would be in six, A would be in seven, and all the way out. And then when that's all done, you physically change register 3 from a 1 to a 0, from an A to a Z. Anytime it changes, it triggers new data. And then we'll respond back, hey, you sent me a 1 command and I will acknowledge. So in a nutshell, that's how this works. Pretty basic, but um, you know, we've got quite a few messages. This is the, all the list. There's not any more. And if you have any questions, um, give Telesis or PTR Sales a call. Thank you.